chapter and this chapter is magnetic effect of electric current. Magnetic effect plays a very important role in our day to day lives. Let us see a few examples. Maglev train, one of the fastest train works on magnetic effect of electric current. Not only this, uh, if you see the MRI machine, one of the most dependable diagnostic tool works on magnetic effect of current. Diagnostic, it means to detect diseases and tumors or to diagnose. Not only this, you might have seen this particular crane which is a magnetic crane used to lift tons of metallic load. It also works on magnetic effect of electric current. Understanding magnetic effect of electric current, let us first begin with the understanding of magnets. To understand magnets, the question is how were magnets discovered? Magnets were found in a place called Magnesia and this Magnesia is a place which is in Asia Minor which is in Greece. But it is said that as far as history is concerned then the ancient Chinese they found this stone and they found that this stone was very special. The stone when suspended always pointed in north south direction. So they understood this stone was special and it was used for navigation for traveling from one place to another and that is how it was called as the lodestone or the leading stone. Now after looking at this particular leading stone let us see the basic property of a bar magnet. Students we know a bar magnet contains two poles and these two poles are the north pole and the south pole. Now suppose let me try to separate the two poles. What happens when I separate the two poles? As soon as I separate the two poles one cut end becomes a south pole and the other cut end becomes a north pole. So once again they develop the opposite poles. Let me try to separate the two poles one more time. Now when I separate the two poles one more time what happens once again it is noticed that each piece develops the required opposite pole. That means a magnet cannot be monopole, it is always dipole. Now the question is why can't a magnet be monopole and why is it dipole? Let's understand this. To understand this, generally a magnet is surrounded by magnetic field which is also called as lines of force. So let us understand students the properties of magnetic field lines. In this properties of magnetic field lines, the first property of magnetic field lines is magnetic field is a quantity that has both direction and magnitude. This means the direction of magnetic field is taken to be the direction in which the north pole of a compass needle moves inside it. So that means if I take a compass needle and I place it in a magnetic field, whichever direction the north pole moves is the direction of the magnetic field. Coming to the second point of properties of magnetic field lines, the field lines emerge from north pole and merge at the south pole. But when you see inside the magnet, inside the magnet the direction of field lines is from south pole to north pole. Let's understand how this actually happens. For this I take a bar magnet. After taking a bar magnet, right, let us say this is a bar magnet. What I do is I take a compass needle and I place it in the magnetic field. So take a compass needle and observe how it deflects. Now what is happening is the needle has deflected. The direction in which north pole of needle moves is the direction of field. So next what I do is place the compass needle in different positions and each time I observe. Now when each time the compass needle is deflecting and coming to rest in a particular position, make a point at the center of the compass needle. That means wherever you place the compass needle in the center make a point. After marking this particular point, next what you do is join all the points. Now when you join all the points you get a curve starting from north to south. So this actually shows that lines of force start from north and go to south. Right? So this was 
to explain the property that field lines emerge from North Pole and merge at the South Pole. Coming to the third property, the relative strength of magnetic field is shown by the degree of closeness of the field lines. This means when the field lines are crowded, that is the field lines are close, the field is stronger, right? But on the other hand, you can see at poles the field is stronger because at poles the field lines are crowded. Now, when field lines are away, the field is weaker. That means you can see at the equatorial region of the magnet, at equator the field is weak because you can clearly see at the equator the lines of force are away from each other. Right? This if you go to see was the third property coming to the fourth property of magnetic field lines. The fourth property states no field lines are found to cross each other. Let us understand why this is so. Now if two lines they actually crossed that is if they did it would mean that at a point of intersection the compass needle would point towards two directions which is not possible. So, if lines of force actually cross each other's path, then at that particular point, the needle should point in two different directions, but this cannot happen. So, therefore, two lines of force can never cross each other's path. This, students, was the properties of magnetic field lines. Thank you.